This is Lin Chi, brush painting for beginner. Uh, the other day we have done um, a simple without leaf, the dendrobium orchid. Today we're going to do a composition right out of Ning Ye's uh, book number two um, with the leaves. And uh, we talked a little bit about the colors and I'm going to do it very quickly right now and so i'm we are using bright light for beginners on the budget side you definitely can uh, go with the book to use the winsor newton watercolor and chinese chip color to get um the beautiful color that he has in the book but since we are for beginners, I assume that everybody is a little bit on the budget side. So we're using bright light. So I have, this one is rouge um, with purple for the center of the flower. And then this one is um, less purple, so it's lighter. The center is yellow. And then we have green for the leaves as well as the flower petal. And then we have the um, um, indigo for the um, for the leaves too. And uh, I'm going to use some uh, ink for the um, for the depth of the leaves. So this is the best bottle ink. So the brush, I have flow brush for the center of the flower in a small petal. And then I have happy dot for some line work, an uh, intricate yellow part. And then I have two brushes. They are the same. They are all full lotus brush. You can use your large flow of or um, super flow. I like to use the large brush because that give me um, the... Um, transparency I'm looking for. I can also use the flow if you have a uh, concern with moisture, but that makes um, very, um, it's hard to get the transparency because I, the, the color will be loading too much to the, to the base of the brush. So there's no clear water area. 
So I want a large brush so I have a lot of clear water area to sh show the transparency. So I'm using the flow brush for the next three stroke. So you can see that my color loading is uh, very much on the tip. So I want it to have a lighter color than the, um, the bottom lips. So we'll show the interesting difference. So this is my center of the flower. And then I'm going to use a large brush loaded with my green. I have two palettes. The color is similar, just in case I run out. And the, I'm using the middle of the thing to So all, all my petals are looking for the center. So this is my first flower. The second flower, a little bit on the sideways, but similar stroke. So you're back to the flow brush there? Yeah, I'm back in the flow brush for the, um, for the center. And then happy dot. With a yellow. And you can see compared to this flower, this right stroke is bigger, the left stroke is smaller. Now I'm my left stroke is bigger and my mm, right stroke is smaller. People always ask. Uh, compositions is host and guest, one bigger, one smaller, and never want it to be the same thing. And now I'm back to the flow brush for the lighter color. So then my
loading the green and then tip your uh, red stroke so kind of squishing here So this is the center of the flower. So every stroke need to be looking at that. Then I am making two buds. Okay, now I need to make them all come together. So I'm using my flow brush to do the bone stroke. I um, use the green and then I use what the left of my palette have some um, red to make the green a little bit softer. I'm using my green pick up some red on my palette so it looks a lot softer. So I connected all these to my leaves. Now I'm using a large combination brush. This one is full lotus and you can use um, large flow or uh, super flow. And I load my brush with green and then indigo and then blend. Green, indigo and blend. So I'm making first leaf and then the second leaf a little bit below that and then the third leaves a single leaf came from here on the other side and then the large the last the this leaf 
and then the back side of that leaves I'm adding a little ink to my brush and then I'm trying to connect these together so I back to my flow brush green with a little red make it softer So this is a complete composition. If you want to know more detail, uh, open your um, book two of 108 Flower by Ning Ye, looking for orchid. Mm -hmm.